Today is October 26th. I might have to rush through this video because I am not feeling well. Um, I apologize that I didn't come back on here a few days ago and share the Obama dream that I told you guys that I was going to share. It completely slipped my mind that day. Um, and then yesterday I remembered, I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to share that. But I don't know what it was yesterday, but I felt like I was going to pass out all day. Well, most of the day. And I was just like so lightheaded like I've never been. And just any time that I stood up, I was like, I'm going to pass out. I don't know what was going on, but I just had to kind of stick to the couch yesterday for the most part. So I didn't feel up to coming on here. And then this morning, my stomach has just been killing me because I forgot to take my medicine for my digestive issues. So I am a mess. I'm just kind of feeling like crap. But I wanted to just come on here anyway because I have to uh, work tomorrow and the next day. So this is the time that I have right now to do this. So I will share the Obama dream and I want to share this dream that I had this morning because it was really weird. Uh, in this dream, I was outside in my yard. It was nighttime because it was like pitch black outside. It was a beautiful, clear sky. And um, like everywhere in the sky, no matter what direction I turned, somewhere there was a moon. And all these different moons, I want to say there was like 10 to 15 different moons. But they were all in different phases. Like some were full moons, some were half moons, uh, some were crescent moons, and then I remember seeing like the tiny, tiny sliver of the moon. And then I saw the usual two moons that I see in dreams where like the rapture is getting ready to happen, where I see one full lit up moon and right beside it is the silhouette of the dark phase of the moon. <clears throat> um, so everywhere I turned, no matter what side of the sky, somewhere there was some sort of moon or planet and there was like other kind of lights going on. There was all kind of stuff going on up there. And then I saw Saturn. I could see like the rings around it. It was like pretty big in the sky. And I think this is the like third dream that I've had about seeing it's just like specifically Saturn I don't know what Saturn has to do with anything but I could see Saturn up there as well um, and then there were just some other objects that I didn't know what they were in the dream I was like what the heck is that where are these things just popping up from why are there multiple moons in the sky and it was just very strange and then I saw chemtrails just fall out of the sky and land on the ground. They just fell. So I think that's probably part of the reason why I was able to see what I was able to see up there because the veil was kind of lifted or it was kind of like I could see a little bit more behind the curtain, so to speak. So I don't know what that was about, but whenever I saw the moons, I was like, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. And Okay, so that's pretty much that dream. And then with the Obama dream, I was in a classroom. He was the teacher. I've dreamt this before where he's the teacher in the classroom. But this dream was a little bit different. So he was like at the front of the classroom at a whiteboard. <clears throat> and he wrote something on the whiteboard. And he turned around to the class and he said, I am banning the Bible. Nobody's allowed to use that Bible in the class anymore. I am banning the Bible. And then, like, he stepped out of the classroom, and I took advantage of that time, and I, like, got up and went around to everybody in the classroom, and I was, like, warning them what he was doing, and I was like, we can't listen to him. We can't let him take our Bibles away. And he came back and he found out what I was doing and he was not happy with me. He decided to get back at me for that and for whatever reason, um, at this point, I left the classroom. And he came back 
and he decided his revenge on me was um, when I came back to the classroom, it was completely empty. He just wiped everything out of it. Tables were gone. There were no classmates. Uh, the whiteboard was gone. Bookshelves, everything in it was gone. It was just bare walls and floors. And he was standing on the opposite side of the room from me towards the wall. And you guys, he just started uh, charging at me like a raging bull in a china shop. He was just coming at me. I don't know what he was going to do, but it's funny because when I came back into the classroom, all of a sudden I had on these um, like really heavy duty earmuffs, the type that you would wear at like a gun range. I have a pair of these in real life, and if I have them on and you're standing beside me talking, I can't hear a word that you're saying. So I had those on. So there he was on the opposite side of the room, just charging at me. He was coming at me, and his mouth was just running a mile a minute, and I couldn't hear any of it. But I, I could tell he was angry. I don't know if he was going to kill me, choke me, I don't know what, but he was raring to go and he was coming my way and I was just kind of like you know I was like jokes on you dude because I can't hear anything you're saying whatever you know it just kind of I wasn't worried about it at all um but he was angry and he just wanted to come at me so um yeah, I've dreamt three other times where he's the teacher in a classroom, but I have never dreamt of anybody banning the Bible. And I think as far as him emptying out the classroom and all the classmates being gone, I think that's symbolizing him wiping out all the Christians. Um, so there's that. But that's pretty much the dream. And I apologize that I haven't even done my Bible study video yet this week or last week. I just have not been feeling good. Um, and I've just been dealing with a lot. I've been going through a lot. And I just have not felt up to doing it. And when I do that video, I want to be in a good mood. I don't want to be depressing or not feeling good or whatever. Um, but it's been kind of a drag these past couple weeks because, like I said in my last video, I've lost out on four weeks of pay. We've had a lot of, uh, you know, I have medical bills and then, like I said, our appliances broke and it's just, it's been a lot. We're all going through stuff like this and I know so many of you guys are going through way worse stuff than I am, but it doesn't take away from the fact that what I am going through sucks. So, um... But when I feel in more of a better mental space to do that, then I will do it. I'm shooting for tomorrow afternoon, late afternoon, after I'm done with my job. I'm hoping so anyway, depending on how much time I have before my husband comes home from work and I have to start dinner and everything. But hopefully within the next day or two, I will have the Bible study video up. And I only have two more chapters to do in the book of James until we move on to something else. I'm thinking about doing like a topical Bible study, but let me know what you guys want to do. So, all right, you guys, I will talk to you later.